Hello, my friends. This is Sergio Rivera again. I always try to bring you a new story of my, uh, you know, what happened to my life and what's going on now. I try to make it interesting, you know, because when you get old, you don't have nothing to do. You retire. Uh, but I find this uh, this thing, you know, about ladies and took me, you know, very little to realize the poor ladies, they in trouble. Even, you know, some of my friends, they said, you know, don't, don't worry about, you know, they, uh, they take care of themselves. I don't think so. I don't think so. They, they got problems for every corner, you know. I went to a seminar, uh, well, if you want to call it a seminar, it was, uh, in Connecticut, uh, it was a wine seminar, and I like wine. I don't like to drink a lot, but you know, once in a while, you know, it was good. And uh, the good part to be old, the ladies, those ladies, you know, like um, 40s and 50s, they're not afraid of you because, you know, you're an old man. And I was wondering, you know, looking in the bottles and try this and try that. And there was a little group of uh, ladies, it was about three or four of them, and they talking in one table. And I was looking, I was with a cup in my hand and I was looking to uh, sit down someplace. And I saw my friend in the other corner. And then in the time, and you know, he saw me and he waved at me. One of the ladies says, uh, I think I know you. Uh, I said, one, well, you know, I don't think, you know, you got make it two or three um, the same as me because I'm ugly. So, you know, it's very hard to make it. So she started laughing. She said, no, no, I think I saw you and you too. Oh, I said, you know, you saw Sergio Rivera. Yes. Oh, okay. I said, you like it. She said, well, you know, I think you, what do you do? You're telling the truth what's going on with the, with the ladies. And uh, I was talking to a friend of mine. Uh, she just she just got a divorce. And she was telling me a story. And, and then, you know, and then I saw you. I said, okay, that was a coincidence. That's very good, you know, because I like to hear what happened. And uh, she said, well, you know, I think, you know, you can mention the worst enemy for the girls, you know, when they marry, is the friends, the, the girl friends, the, 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 the ladies' friends. They come into the house, they, uh, they you know, they play with the kids, and they, they have maybe one kid. See, the, the story of this lady, she got three kids, and the husband, and, and she started getting a little fatty, like you see, but she's beautiful. But then uh, they they almost about uh, 14, 15 years married. And one of the friends was coming to the house. She was uh, she was divorced. She was 35. And she was beautiful. She got one kid. And she continued to come in the house alone. So you know what happened next. I think... This is the worst enemy for the ladies uh, when they marry to bring, you know, those girls or friends into the house when they divorce. Even if they're not divorced, they can, they can go out anyway. But, uh, you know, to make a, a long story short, they fall in love. <laughs> The lady friend fell in love with the husband. So the husband leave everything and move with her. So now they just got a divorce. So she got three kids. The other lady got one. And I was telling her, I said, you know, don't, don't get mad. Try to be friend with the other lady. She said, but I can't. I can't be friend because, you know, she uh, she betrayed me, you know. She she was coming into my house like a family. But I said, you know, this is nothing new. This happened, uh, always happened. Because 
the husband they got bored because you know the wife's getting fat or getting old and the kids and too much things to do and then you know with this girl she got only one kid she's available and uh they can see each other but i think you know the men's they they are a little stupid too because they uh if, if he wants no complications he's not supposed to get this girl with one kid if you're going to get a divorce get a divorce and try to get somebody single start again but not somebody who already has a kid but when the story wasn't that the story was you know now she's alone with the three kids and then gosh he got a good job so he can support the kids but that's not the main thing you know we always we always wind up in the same thing she's alone she's alone ladies they not protect for anything you know just the guy move out and he's single and she wind up with the three kids and and nothing to do and she got you know she got basketball she got piano she got uh, exercise she got soccer she got every sport you know she had to take the kid <laughs> what did the husband do oh he passed the child support that's that's the good part okay another way like I always say he pay to be free ladies they not can do that they no 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 they the kid they have to stay with the mama they said in the meantime they free so anyway i was very upset because i said you know i i always said to myself i wish i can be wrong but i always right the ladies they're stupid they let it do the man whatever they want you know just just get a divorce leave me the kid i'm going to take care of the kid i'm not going to go nowhere you 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 go everywhere you can screw anybody no problem i stay home okay see how stupid it is okay my ladies i want to hear from you okay is sergio rivera 1945 gmail.com and thank you very much to that lady who remind you know recognize me okay is uh sergio rivera 1945 at gmail.com i want to hear from you okay protect your life be careful and be merry <laughs> love you all okay take care